hello folks so in this video i am going to fix some of the typos which i did while uh, developing certain scripts or folders so let's start with uh, this folder uh, which is template so it should be named as templates not template okay so let me suffix s here okay and because otherwise it would give an error uh, when you try to you know uh, run the URL in your browser which is this URL okay so when you type this URL it would give an error like this okay so in this case we just make this change and then I also observed that you know while keeping these names New York, California, not New York, California, uh, it's R&D spend, admin spend, and market spend, it should be separated by underscore. So R&D spend, reason being, I'll tell you BQ, because in this home.html, which we created, right, we named the uh, label or oh, sorry input values r and d spend r and d underscore spend admin underscore spend market underscore and spend so these names should be in alignment with the variables which we are initializing here okay so it should be on the same lines only market spend otherwise it won't capture the values which we are going to enter on our home screen the values for state r d spend marketing spend and admin spend so this is another fix uh one more fix which we need to do is uh, so you remember in our flask app i kept this uh, pickle file right so the name of the pickle file was multiple regression model but in my app I mentioned as multiple linear regression so let's rename this as well let's correct the name of this model as well model okay and then save this okay ignore these messages uh, these are nothing so ignore these plagued crash messages now we are going to run our app okay so here we will run python app.py okay let's see if any error comes up okay so it is running now refresh our page here and you will be able to see the home page now the next step is to run this app so let's choose new york okay so uh, we are assuming that our company or the startup is located in new york and not in california or in florida okay so that's why we have kept one here and for california and zero uh, california and florida will keep zero because our company is not located in these two states so rather it is located in new york that's why one r and d spend let us say one two three five six one is the dollar amount for r and d spend for this startup so our startup this particular startup is spending this much amount hundred twenty three thousand and five hundred and sixty one dollars in r and d and on admin spend let us say it is uh, spending 231,000 and the marketing spend is let us say major chunk of it so 450,000 uh, any hypothetical 871 dollars so this much uh, amount the startup is spending on marketing spend let's click on submit button okay so now a new page will be opened with the uh endpoint slash predict so you can see a slash predict and now you can see the result is 162 dollars 237 sorry 162 thousand 
$227.29. So it is predicting this much profit, okay, for this particular startup or um, hypothetically XYZ startup. It is predicting that a venture capitalist, if he invests his money, he would get a profit of $162,227.29. Or we can also say that, you know, uh, that these are the amounts, right? So let us say if, uh, uh, um, if he wants to see, the venture capitalist wants to see that, that if he spend his money, more money on marketing spend, whether that particular dollar amount is going to increase or decrease. Similarly for these two, columns as well so that kind of uh, you know uh, fluctuation he can see in prediction if you provide the values in uh, you know the uh, uh, kind of values he wants to provide in these columns and he wants to see uh, how much is the uh, you know fluctuation in the prediction so he can just play around with these dollar amounts and see the fluctuation in pre uh, profit prediction of this particular startup okay so guys this is uh, pretty much about it uh, we have uh, developed our um, you know flask web app and uh, you can see that the model is predicting uh, the profit amount as well now next step is to create the docker containers so that this particular app can be you know deployed on uh, azure uh, so that the external world or any person outside the organization or inside the organization can see this particular web app running on the internet okay so the next step as i told you it's going to create or spin up a docker container and then after that we'll deploy it on azure so guys thank you so much keep on watching for next upcoming videos